questions. Just what, what, what are those like? Uh, yeah, um, me and Mac, we have we became pretty close. Actually, when I was uh, getting recruited on my official visit, he was my host. So just from there, we had a special bond and connection. And, uh, yeah, it's funny because, like, anytime he needed a, a throwing partner, I was always there and I was always willing to uh, help because not only was it helping him, it was also uh, helping me get better. So, yeah, we do have that connection. Over to Kirk McNair. I guess, uh, Slade, the Coach Saban has talked a lot about the uh, efforts that have been made for the players to vote, and I wondered, one, if you had voted, uh, if you had ever voted before in a presidential election, uh, did it excite you that there been much talk among the players? Anything about voting that, uh, and, and the emphasis that Coach Saban put on it? Right. Yeah, I think, I mean, we all we understand, and Coach Saban emphasizes that, you know, voting's important, and... Uh, no matter what your political views are, it's important to get your view out there and uh, what you believe, and, you know, who should be what. And, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's made, it, made it important for us to go out there and vote. And, uh, and I will hopefully be attending to vote as well. And uh, so, yeah. Over to Charlie Potter. Hey, Slade, I know you never want to see a teammate go down, but just now that you have this opportunity, what do you want to prove to everyone out there? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's hard, you know, seeing uh, J Dub go down. He's one of my good teammates, one of my uh, good friends. Uh, it's always tough, you know. And uh, this is not the way I wanted to get this opportunity, of course. And saw him, saw Waddle today, and he's smiling and laughing and joking as always. And uh, it was good to see a smile on his face. But yeah, I'm thankful for the opportunity. I'm just here to get better and improve each and every day. John Zener, go ahead. Yeah, so like, what is it about Mac that he seems to to just calm, poise? He messes up. He tends to bounce back strongly. Doesn't let it affect the next play. What is it about his demeanor that helps him do that? I mean, Mac's put in so much hard work over the you know the past few years. You know, whether it's an off season or during the season, and I think that's one thing he's had to learn is just you know, like any other quarterback, to stay calm. Because if you if you you know get riled up too easy, you know it can also affect the team. He's done a good job of improving on that, and, and I know that's just his personality. He does a good job of staying calm and poised when you know times get hard or or adversity strikes. Mike Rodak, go ahead. Yes, yeah, Slade. There's kind of been this ongoing comparison that gets made between you and Julian Edelman. I think Henry Ruggs at one point made it last year. Just how valid is it in your mind between your two playing styles, and how much do you watch him or any other slot receivers in the NFL? Yeah, um, yeah. Julian Edelman is definitely a guy that I, you know, try to make my game up. I'm, I'm thankful to be in a conversation with someone like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to be. Uh, be me and be the better slate that I can be. But uh, I am thankful to be in that conversation. And there are some uh, ways he does some, certain things that I try to mimic. So uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that. James Ogletree, go ahead. Yeah, Slade, when you go to a game on the road in a rivalry game with such little notice, uh, just what's your mindset when, when you see Jalen go down and then all of a sudden you're just kind of out there and you get targeted several times early. Just what's your mindset and how do you make sure that you're ready um, at a moment's notice for a, for a moment like that? Right. Yeah, well, you know, coach preaches each and every day, like, to you know, for every player, no matter where you're at on depth chart, no matter what position you play, it's always be prepared. You know, where does, you know, film prep or practice prep. And, you know, because you never know when your number's going to be called. And anything like that, as as heartbreaking as it is, you have to be ready. And just going to the game like that was like, here I am, just going to do my job, and that's all I did. And that's that's what each and every player has to have their mindset to be. Michael Costa Grande, over to you. It's like, could you just describe your skill set just as basic as it gets? So, you just how would you describe your game? The best way I can describe my game is, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be the fastest guy on the field, uh, but uh, I feel like I got a lot of heart, a lot of determination. Um, I'm going to be able to get open and make plays, and uh, I will catch a ball if it's around me. Back over to Tony Sakalas. Yeah, there's been a lot of focus on the receiving part of your game, but you're probably also going to take over the, the punt return duties. How excited are you about that? And, you know, is that something that you kind of feel confident in in showcasing your skill set uh, in that area? Uh, yeah, like even throughout these past two years, I was kind of uh, Jado's backup in – Pump return as well. So you know, each and every day in practice, I'm working, uh, working pump returns. I'm uh, practicing just as much as he is. 
Um, even even in some games last year, I remember I was able to come in the fourth quarter, you know, and we were up by a lot or whether you know whatever the circumstances may be. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to showcase that part. You know, it's it's something I haven't done in a while since high school, especially in a game. But uh, I'm excited to do that for sure. Unless there are any others, we'll finish up with Charlie Potter. I just want to ask you about the young guys behind you. They will probably get an opportunity now too. What have you seen from those freshmen? Uh, the freshman guys, they they've worked hard. They I think they finally understand, like you know what is expected of them. They uh they have to just continue to pr prepare and you know to continue to work hard and because it's just like me, you never know when your number may be called and you have to be ready. But they've been working hard and I th I think we have a a great group of freshmen, good 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 guys for sure, and I think they're going to help us out in the future for sure.